Hey, what's up, YouTube friends? It's Steve Ricardo, your host today. What is shaking? Welcome back to another episode of Does It Crank? Or Can It Crank? Or is it good for you? Do you want to buy it? Do you need it? Of course you do. Absolutely. But before we dwell into what you need, don't forget to subscribe down below, hit the like button, and the bell. And you'll be up to date on all the cool, crazy, wacky shit that I'm doing. So... Some of it's good, some of it, eh, not so good, you know? But hey, I don't want to hold it against you. So, um, the topic came up a couple weeks ago, you know? Remember carrying these things around, the big heavy lugs, the big huge, you know, road cases, or your big huge, you know, Marshall 900, or your Mode 4s, or, you know, anything that basically weighs 400 pounds, where you're going to get hernia, or your wife looks at you and goes, I'm not fucking carrying that up the stairs. <laughs> Fuck you, right? Exactly. So, if... Technology is growing immensely with things that are getting smaller and nano, like the clubs. Clubs are getting smaller and nano and everything else. So we try and find what's the best, what's happening, and what works for you. So I was rehearsing um, the other day with, uh, you know, Heathen Sins, and we're like, you know, I brought my Mode 4, right? Which i got to go up like freaking... 20 some odd freaking stair steps and by the time you get up top your shoulders been strained and you're tired and you're winded sound like you ran a marathon or you spent an hour doing you know dancing to the oldies so ain't gonna fucking happen so we're like you know man i wish they made something smaller which they do i've got the or 15 i've yet to try that with a band situation other than what i was doing before with bonnie scott and doing the acds thing so but this is a full-on you know metal band kind of thing so i hit up the fine boys at Long and McQuaid in Abbotsford, and like, dude, you gotta check this thing out. It's freaking, it's it's the bomb. It's the thing that's cool. It's what's happening. It's what's hip. It's this thing. Yeah, Hughes and Kettner. So they got three of these. They've got uh, they've got this one. They've got uh, the metal one. The, the metal one. It's what you need. They've got a rock one, which apparently is not bad. I haven't tried it, but he's like, it's not bad. And they got the jazz one. So you know, you got three pickings. Um, but I'm sure if you get the metal one, you can do everything, I mean, everything in between, right? So these things retail for $2.99 in Canada. Probably like 50 bucks in the States. What? Stop me if I'm wrong, but anyway. Um, they're not big. They're not big at all, man. They're really cool. So lightweight, put it in a little, you know, grab your wife's night bag, you know, for overnighting where she puts her panties in her fucking, um, you know, your toothbrush and go, oh, look. I've got myself a little nano. Hmm. Silly. All right. Um, so let's try this thing out. Really simple. Here it is. And I basically hooked it up. Just DI from the back of it. This has got to line out. So it's got to line out. Let me read a little bit really quickly. Because I know you guys are like, what the hell does it sound like? So it comes with instructions and paperwork. Um, and a couple of guys are asking me, what does the sagging button do? Well, let me tell you something. According to my father, after 30 years of marriage, he knows what the sagging thing is. So, um. <laughs> anyway, so this is the Spirit Nano Series, vintage rock, metal, and they got a jazz one, so and a vintage one. So anyway, okay, so input, connect your guitar, blah, 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 blah. This thing is, is and can be up to 50 watts. I shit you not. So if I'm... Uh, Going here, real simple, okay. So here we go. Uh, powered to the 16 ohms, you get 13 watts. Powered at eight ohms, you get 25 watts. Powered to the four ohms, you get 48 watts. Wow, so I did, I hooked it up to my 212, my EVH 212, which is what it's sitting on, actually it's sitting on my orange, or 15, and the or 15 is sitting on my 212. Um, it, it was loud, man, I seriously, I thought I was gonna get evicted from where I'm living. It's loud. I cranked it pretty good. So let me go to the, the setting. It's got it's real simple. You've got a master, you've got a, a sagging, you've got a tone, you've got a gain, headphones, and an input. Can you get any simpler than that? No, nothing at all. Uh, so sagging, along with the gain and the tone controls, sagging is your key knob for making new and exciting sounds. This knob gives you full control over power amp saturation level and behavior at any volume. Uh, it lets you delicately, delicately control the creaminess. It controls the creaminess. Oh my God, the creaminess. Pretty intense, man. Um, so if you want your cream controlled, 
<laughs> let's let's dial it through then, shall we? Oh, baby. Um, yeah, so there you go. With a twist of a wrist, you can control your creaminess. Anyway, without further ado, I'm just going to fucking plug this thing in. So uh, right now, as you can see, um, I've got it um, master at 9 o'clock. Sagging's pretty much... Let's go in the middle. So in the middle. Tones in the middle. Gains in the middle. Because if I go any more than that... Yeah. So let's try it there. I mean, it's metal, right? Um, what am I using? I'm using... Real simple. Just my Gibson with one pickup in it. My Harry Deegan. My Harry Deegan. Rise the machine, brother. Um, the pickup, what's in it, is a Pearly Gates, Billy Gibbons. That's it. Volume, pickup. Blue, done. Okay. So, okay, man. You wanna, okay, we're gonna see what she sounds like here. So, just a little bit of reverb about it, and then just. And then I'm gonna play with the sack. So, yeah, I mean, as you can see, I, I don't really move it much, but um, I think the quality of what it's worth is it's, it's pretty cool for 300 bucks. You get a lot of variety. Um, really, you just got to set it once to what you want, and you're good to go. So I think the big test is basically trying it in a rehearsal room. Um, I know it's loud because I've tried it here, so I don't think that'll be an issue. Um, would I recommend it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's going to save your back for sure. Um, and at 300 bucks, shit. I mean, you can go more expensive. You can get the OR15 from Orange, and you, but you're spending like $7,800 now, right? So you're not getting as much um, wattage out of it. So, and I think that's what you want for something that's going to be that small, literally that small. 
to have the power behind it. So, I mean, it's cool. It lights up. It's blue. It looks really neat. I mean, I dig it. And it's, yeah, absolutely. So... <laughs> have it right um, it's cool I think it's a really good uh, good bargain I mean you, you get the metal one you're gonna get both the birth you know best of both worlds you can tweak it into what you want um, but if the jazz or the vintage is what you want you know sure absolutely I think it's a great little power unit for sure um, for Hughes and Kettner something new I mean they're always coming out there um, they've got a bunch of other nano ones, ones with the tubes and it lights up, but that's only 18 watts, right? Um, but for solid state, um, even recording into your DOS system, yeah, great. If you don't have a torpedo or something like that to run into, this would be great. Apartment size, you got the headphones, and I think there was something with the headphones that was also really kind of cool. Um, buddy pointed it out to me that it had some kind of driver in there. Uh, I saw it somewhere. There we go. Phones. The frequency uh, compensated output emulates uh, emulation of the Hughes and Kettner red box. So same thing, right? It is designed to connect standard headphones uh, with 6.3 millimeter corner J. Yeah. Um, so basically it's, yeah, it's cool. The frequency is awesome. What can I say? Is it worth it? Yes. Thumbs up. Absolutely. So I'd say go out and get one. Check it out today. And uh, yeah, for sure. Rock on. Hey, thanks for watching the show. Uh, do comment down below and uh, tell me if you got one and what you think of it. So um, for sure. So cheers. Thanks for watching. I have been Steve. You have been fantastic. Cheers. <laughs>